My dad served as a signalman, in, a Navy signalman in World War II. And as Gloria said, in 2003, our son Bo joined the Delaware Army National Guard and served for a year in Iraq. So this is personal to us. We know what it's like to wait on a lagging phone call from across the world, to smile through another holiday with an empty chair at the table. So let me ask you this. Does Donald Trump know anything about military pay? No. He disparages those who sacrifice for our country. His own chief of staff said he called POWs and those who died in war losers and suckers. He's evil. He said he didn't want to be seen with injured veterans because it didn't look good for him. It's disgraceful. But it's not surprising. Donald Trump wakes up every morning thinking about one person and one person only, himself. We know what Donald Trump was like as Commander-in-Chief, and it could be worse this time. Last week, the Supreme Court ruled that there are virtually no limits on what a president can do. Our democracy cannot withstand a Trump presidency with virtually no limits. Service members honor their oath to support and defend the Constitution. We cannot trust Donald Trump to do the same. The military community deserves better. You deserve a commander-in-chief who serves with integrity and wisdom and character. And that's my husband, Joe Biden.